Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're doing an armor guide here, this being the Warhorse armor from the Treasures of the Past DLC. Uh, of course, I've done a video on this before, but back then all of the stuff clipped and none of the textures would load and all that sort of stuff. So now it's going to be new and improved and it's going to give you a good look at this armor. Uh, little disclaimer, this armor can only be obtained if you have the Treasures of the Past DLC, which you can, you either got it for pre-ordering the game, or you can download it at any time. You just buy it and download it, it's like five bucks, I think. Uh, then that will put five maps into your chest, uh, whichever chest you know you're using, obviously, they're all linked, so. Uh, and you follow all those, there's obviously five different treasure locations, you get all of them, and there's two pieces to this armor in each of those chests. So what I did is I paired a sword and a shield with it, but basically this is just uh, the warhorse clothing except for one piece, but I'll, I'll get to that when we get there. Uh, so let's just jump right into it and start us off with weapons. So here at weapons we have the shield with crest, which uh, is interesting because it's actually a targe shield, so it actually does damage when you block, so that's uh, pretty interesting. It's not great for defense, it's only got 10 for defense, so it's not a great defensive shield, but it's, you know, I feel like it's good. And with that, I put the Tusk, which again, is an interesting weapon because it's a pretty strong longsword, but it has a, it's an agility weapon, and it's only got a minimum agility of one. So, you know, this is a really good longsword. I feel like it pairs with this shield really well, and it goes with this armor. So with that in mind, let's start us off with the base level, which is, of course, clothing. And for the base level, we only have three pieces. The Warhorse Gamson, the Warhorse Gamson Chosses, and then... I had to put red hose in because unfortunately they don't have any war horse hose. So I put those in there, the cheapest hose I could find at 13.2, but I think it still fits. So with that in mind, let's go to the next layer, which is of course mail. And for mail, we have the war horse coif and the war horse hauberk. Uh, pretty, you know, nice looking stuff. I, they put a lot of time into this and you can tell because the textures are all really well done. So for the next level, we have, you know, the armor. So for that, we have the war horse gauntlets. The Warhorse Pauldrons, the Warhorse Greaves, the Warhorse Brigandine, which is a beautiful, unique piece of armor, and the Warhorse Helmet, which is actually the best helmet in the game. Uh, so that is the Warhorse armor. Uh, personally, uh, I didn't like it at first, the first time I saw this, but it's grown on me ever since, and I think it's a very unique set of armor, and I like it a lot. Uh, of course, last, you can don the Warhorse Waifenrock, which tops it off and gives you this lovely gold belt. Uh, this suit of armor has a total value of only 2,689.8 groschen, most of that coming from the uh, tusk, because the rest of it isn't worth a whole lot. Uh, the total AAR, or average armor rating, is 87.25, and the total charisma is 13, which isn't bad for a suit of armor. Uh, this suit of armor is awesome it's great especially for hardcore playthrough because a it's free so you can get it very easily um b because of the low cost it's also extremely cheap to repair so you can keep it in good good working order uh it's not all that heavy you know it's a good suit of armor uh also if you're looking for a slightly more challenging playthrough this offers a decent suit of armor but not too overpowering again only 87 for the aar so with all that in mind, that is the Warhorse armor. Well, that's another video in the books. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put some links on the screen here to help you subscribe and maybe see another video. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.